The most prominent transformation that has taken place in our world is the massive use of internet which has become a necessity rather than a facility. A very good morning to esteemed judges. Today, I Vivek Ranjan Sahu. I am going to present a seminar on the topic cyber safety. Today's age cannot be even thought of without internet, even in dreams. According to Bill Gates, the internet is becoming a town square for the global village of tomorrow. But in recent years, there is a paradigm shift in cyber theft happening now and then in India. According to the National Crime Records Bureau, data released last year, a total of 50,000 cases were registered in 2020 under cybercrime. Presenting some newspaper clippings in latest cyber crimes in India. This shows that how cybercrime is increasing its popularity day by day. Thus, it is important to be aware and cautious while accessing internet to ensure personal safety and information security. So, first of all, what is cyber safety actually? Cyber safety refers to the safe and responsible use of internet to ensure safety and security of a personal information. Cyber security is important because it protects all kinds of data from theft and damage. This includes avoiding cyber attacks, external intruders, illegal crimes or else being bullied online. While browsing, our recent history are stored in a tracking file. If this tracking file is just directly stolen, then it may take personal identification theft. So do not search anything from untrusted source. Now, online safety refers to the act of being safe online. There are various ways through which malware can enter our system without the knowledge of the user. Once installed, these programs can seriously affect your privacy and your computer's security. So here are some safety measures to prevent these malicious software to enter our system. Basically, there are two ways to do just that. One is active protection by installing antivirus software such as McAfee, Norton, Windows Defender, etc. And the other one is taking preventive measures such as keeping our system up to date or disabling cookies. As it is rightly said, prevention is better than cure. Cyber crimes or attack is defined as a systematic criminal activity occurring digitally and done by attackers. It is a criminal offense that involves the use of a computer and a network. Cyber crimes are used for attacking personal information, cyber threats, hurting sentiments, and doing illegal crimes. Let's see some of the most common cyber attacks that have plagued as a community since the beginning of the internet. Children are highly vulnerable as they are exposed to cyberspace with limited understanding of cyber threats and safeguards. While experimenting, learning new things and using new technology. It is a good way to explore but it is equally important to have proper guidance as well. There are certain mistakes that most children do while using smartphone which is now increasing its popularity day by day, especially in social media platforms. Therefore, it is a need of the hour to make them aware about possible consequences and teach them to be safe online. So first of all, how to ensure confidentiality? It is very important to keep our personal information with us only. And this can be achieved by using firewalls, changing browser settings, browsing privately, careful while surfing internet and avoiding public Wi-Fi. A password is a key to unlock the door of your personal belongings. So we must ensure to keep a strong password with a combination of special characters, numbers, uppercase and lowercase letters. Also, keep changing your passwords periodically and do not use the same password in multiple accounts. Here is an example of a strong password. Thirdly, here are some safety measures to be kept in mind, such as keeping antivirus and OS up to date, regularly backing up your sensitive data. You should think before you click suspicious web links or URLs. Always keep your password or PIN confidential and strong. Manage your social media settings. Use more than one type of authentication on all your accounts. La secure your internet network with a strong encryption password, antivirus, firewalls and a VPN. Also, there are several official organizations who take care of cyber crimes. Government of India, 
also recognizes cyber crimes as a criminal offense in its constitution under Indian Penal Code and Information Technology Act 2000. This portal is an initiative of Government of India to facilitate victims to report cybercrime complaints online. We can just type cybercrime.gov.in or call 1930 for assistance. It is a matter of great concern that India ranks in the top 5 countries in cybercrimes according, according to the survey done by FBI. The top countries United States of America, the second position holds United Kingdom, third one is Canada and fourth comes India with a total of 3131 cyber crimes in 2021. At last but not the least, I would like to say that internet has become both the boon and ban of our existence. To quote, the internet is a necessary evil, so it is up to us how we will make the most of it ensuring that no other individual is adversely affected because of the same. It also remains our responsibility to safeguard our information to the mass extent possible and prevent it from being misused in any way. As the quote goes, prevention is better than cure, so we will as well make an attempt to go cyber safe so that we don't end up opening the Pandora's box of the digital world. With this, thank you everyone.